Hello miners, I want to show you how to make this uh, obsidian generator here, but first I want to show you how it works. So basically you just go in here, and you place this uh, redstone dust down here, and you close the door, it's important to close that door, you don't want lava spilling everywhere, and uh, you pull this lever, pistons draw back and the magma falls down, and turns into obsidian when it hits the water and the redstone dust. Then you push this button to push forward the glass with the sticky pistons and that pushes the lava out of your way so you can mine this obsidian. Uh, I'm in creative mode so I was able to break those really quick. So, uh, so I'll just go over here and show you how to do this. Right now I already have the frame built out for, uh, for me you know just to be, you know, get quick to the point and uh, you can pause this video to catch up to me um, Basically, I'm already to, ready to start with the water, so you just put the water in right here. Very important, you need the water. And then uh, the sticky pistons. Uh, you can make this machine as long as you want, as, as long as you have materials for it. Um, I would suggest only making it about 10 or 15 long, but it is our, it's up to you. This, one's gonna, this machine's gonna look a little bit different than the one I just showed you. But uh, because I'm going to move the levers over a bit so you can see the machine while you're operating the levers. So after you get these two glass panes in, I'm just going to go back here and start with the circuit back here. And uh, you need to put repeaters on the back of these pistons because you can't lead the redstone dust directly into the back of them when they're side by side like that. And uh, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this right here. And I'm going to try to make the lever so that I can actually see the machine when I'm operating the lever. And you can make this out of cobblestone if you want. I'm just making it out of iron because I'm in creative mode and iron just looks good. You can make it out of whatever whatever material you want. I I I would actually suggest eventually remaking the machine out of obsidian, so it's less likely to get blown up by a creeper. And if this thing gets blown up by a creeper, it can be a real pain in the ass to fix, especially when it spills lava everywhere. And it just gets real pain. So actually, I forgot to put the repeater in right here. But that's okay, we can just knock, I can just knock the dust out. Let me turn off the rain here. Alright, just put the repeater in here so that all the pistons turn on. And these are the sticky pistons that push the glass panes forward that get rid of the lava. And they're sticky so that they pull the glass panes back off of them so you don't have to destroy the glass panes every time. So once you're done with that, I'm just going to cover this up. let you guys catch up with me I guess I don't know you can pause the video or you can just try to fast forward it I don't care uh, you should also you, whenever you're putting bricks over they have to be one high above the uh, circuit the uh, redstone circuit otherwise it'll cut the circuit and you won't be able to it won't operate correctly and uh, somebody keeps texting me. I'm just gonna ignore that right now. That's my text message number or sound effect. And as soon as I'm done with this, I should probably do this later, you know. But oh well, almost done. This machine's gonna look a little bit different than the one I showed you just a second ago because I'm gonna rearrange the levers a bit so that you can you're facing the machine while you're operating the levers. Just, yeah, just use my macro right here and quickly place these down. There we go. And uh, there we go. all done. All done covering that up. Let's test it one more time and see if it still works. Yeah, looks like it does. Okay, now let's start with the pistons on the top that hold the magma in. These are not sticky pistons. You'll totally screw up the machine if you make them sticky pistons.
but uh, these are regular pistons and uh, you just put them in a row and just get rid of that and then uh, wait a minute what am I doing wrong here no no they, don't, they can't be that low actually no 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 Okay, um, no, 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 I gotta get rid of these. Okay, I'm totally screwed up. Oh, sticky. Alright, just put the regular pistons right here, and then, uh, let's make it day. Making it day. Day, day, day. Alright, so, yeah, this is where, I'm, yeah, th yeah, okay, this is where I was messing up. You just put these right here, these bricks here, so you can see the front window fine. Yeah, there we go. And then put another row for the repeaters and the dust. Right there. There's the repeaters. Put one right here. There we go. Facing that way. And there's no special timing you have to do. Right here, um, you have to put a redstone torch on a brick right here so that these pistons are constantly activated rather than... Uh, and uh, all these pistons will be constantly activated unless the lever I have down there is pulled. And the whole point of that is to hold the magma up. Uh, you'll see uh, why up here. And let's make this right here. Just leave this around. About right here. Yeah, that looks good. And then. Place the dust. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Just get rid of these two. And pop the lever right here, and it should pull back the pistons, letting the magma down. Okay, push it forward. All right, now I'm just gonna seal this off right here, and it's actually ready for the magma, but I'm not gonna put it in just yet. I gotta put the little casing around it that's gonna hold the magma up, of course. Uh, this machine is dangerous. You should build it away from your homes if your homes are made of wood and stuff. You should build it away from your village or from your homes, you know, a little ways. Because one thing goes wrong, like a creeper snakes up on you and blows it up, you, you, this machine is pretty much, it's really hard to clean up after it. You spill magma everywhere and it's just a pain in the ass. So, uh, just remember that. And, uh, I'm just gonna cover up this circuit here just to make it look neater. And I don't care if you guys do that or not, it's up to you. Uh, I also gotta make the bricks one high above the circuit. Like, like it, that brick I just placed there, it won't work. It'll cut the circuit. So, uh, you can use slabs. Which can play, you can place slabs directly above a circuit on a joint right there, and it'll it'll cover the, it won't cut the circuit it'll, but still cover it. Um, if you're ha if you're having room, you know you don't have a lot of space to work with or something. Uh, so I'm gonna cover up this too, just to make it look nice. front panel here after I cover up all these redstone torches and or redstone repeaters and redstone dust this machine is already almost done it's about 95% done now and testing it one more time make sure I didn't cut circuit somewhere okay yeah now we're gonna place the magma in and I can just drop that in there
you can make this machine as long as you want. You might need more repeaters to continue the uh, circuit. You might need to, if you make it too long, you might need to mess with circuits a little bit to try to get it to work right, to continue to work right. I suggest not making it longer than one repeater can reach. It's up to you though. Now I'm going to put an iron door on here because wooden doors will burn, so you need an iron door. And actually, I'm going to need glass too. Let's, don't need repeaters anymore, just use glass. There we go. Um, just quickly replace those. Now, make sure the door works without interfering with the pistons. That's cool. And let's let's go ahead and test this out. Let's put some redstone in here. Redstone dust. Close that up. Pull the lever. And profit. There we go. There's an empty space there. If you notice, push this lever to get rid of the magma on top. And collect your obsidian. Thank you for watching. I really hope this tutorial helped you out. And goodbye.